Hello and welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator X. I was talking about how I was going to be playing this today in yesterday's video, which I think only actually came out this morning. I don't know why, because I came on to check if it actually uploaded, and it said four hours ago, so I'm not sure if it did or not. But right now I'm going to be flying a I think it was an extra 300 it said and I want to just try this one out because I've tried a bunch of different planes I did try this game before but I didn't have a controller I was trying to control it and absolutely impossible to do without so I ended up ordering this one off Amazon much cheaper than just buying it off Steam only thing was, it was sent over in a, a um, it was sent over like it was going to be a disc. Opened up the box, and it was just a download code. So I don't know why they actually had to send it in the disc cartridge thing. Um, but I did get these at the same time. It's the stuff said today was going to be the latest it could get here, but. It turned up here at about 4 o'clock, or well, I could get onto the game about 4 o'clock. It showed up about 3. It took an hour to actually download, and I've been playing it for the rest of the day. And I'm now going to fly around in this. Now, I've got a controller that's pretty easy to figure out. I've got a button in the middle for different views. Uh, I've got a button on the side, which I'm not sure what it does. Uh, I've got a button to look around like this, so I can change my view perspective, and that is probably the best view. I'm actually no, it's not. I think this one's normally the best view. Uh, I've got throttle on the side, and there's a button that I'm not sure what it's actually for. I think it might be for when it's a fighter game, but. It's definitely very easy to control, and now I can already pitch up, and I'm already into the air. So that's how easy you can see it actually is. And I can do a bow roll. Uh, I was flying an F-18 before, I managed to go pretty much vertical, didn't stall it, and then did a loop. But it's very easy to control because of the joystick I've got. Only thing was, I was trying to fly a different plane before. Okay, yeah, that was just it, oversensitive, but I was trying to fly a plane before. Uh, it was a Learjet, got it up to a certain height, and it just begins to dip randomly. So I'm not sure what that actually was. But this one's very easy to control and it's a very fun game if you do have the controller not so much without but I suppose I can get a bit of playtime out of it for the video uh, I might do multiplayer videos in the future, I'm not sure but it's definitely fun to fly around uh, I might have to record a video during the week where I actually do a long flight and I have to edit it down but for now because it's only you know, because it's 8 o'clock and I only have an hour left before I can actually get it out because for some reason I can't upload past 9 and I'm not sure why but I'm going to try and get a video done now on it so I, I took off from Heathrow that, because I'd selected to fly from Heathrow so actually I'm not sure if I had that selected this time um, I'm not really sure uh, I had managed to find a lot of different airports from around nearer to where I live uh, while I was playing earlier um, and I tried to take off a 
the uh, Airbus 747 before, and that did the same thing as the Learjet. But it's definitely a fun game. And uh, especially flying the F-18, you can get up to you can get up to some ridiculous speeds. Um, but I think smoke was why. Yep, yeah, there we go. So as you can see, there's smoke coming out the back. If I can actually angle this correctly. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I'm into the ground. And there you go. You can see all the smoke. And this view is meant to be for checking wheels, I think, for planes with landing gear. Uh, yeah, that was spot. So that is meant to be for checking the wheels, see if they're out. Uh, this is the view from the nearest tower, but I can't see a thing because it's viewing it from behind a building. Uh, yeah, it's still there. This one's from the tail and then the cockpit. So I'm I'm able to do quite a lot of things with it. And I think maybe if I can actually get a video recorded through the day tomorrow, I'll be able to get out a video of me actually flying over more stuff going on a longer flight. But there are some really cool tricks in it. And I've still got another eight minutes, so okay, yeah, it's lagging. I'm gonna see what I can actually do. Um, I'm gonna see how high I can get this plane. I do have to constantly hold back on the throttle to gain speed because the throttle just automatically goes back into just staying still. Like, of keeping it level, even though unless you're at a super uh, super fast speed, you can dive like this. Um, so if I just keep this pulling up a bit, uh, I'm going to change view. Um, okay, just pull up. level it out and look at all the different things on here. See that is what happened with the Learjet I was flying before. It kind of just gets to a point and it keeps trying to dip. Uh, there we go, so if we look at this view, it begins to dip. And I'm not sure what that is. I don't believe that it's stalling because Learjets can get a lot faster the speed I was going at for climbing and it was still trying to speed up as I was climbing but it just started to fall so I'm not sure what that was uh, I'm just going to pull back quite hard here I mean yeah that's probably going to stall it so now I'm going to try and do an inverted loop a very good loop there There we go. And now I've just got to catch up a load of speed again. I'm going to go inverted here. You've got to push up now. And it's extremely laggy. And okay, yeah, it's. And there you go. That so laggy I couldn't actually see what was going to happen there. Um, I've only got five minutes left to go. Okay, come on, just stop lagging. It hasn't been lagging all day, so I'm not sure if it's just because I'm recording or not. Maybe it's just the plane. But it didn't lag at all before. I'm also worried about changing the plane because it might just cut out. I'm not sure if it counts the selection screen as a completely different thing because it closes down the full screen you know, feature and goes into a different window so I'm not sure if it is a different thing or not but 
just because I'm not sure about that, I'm just going to keep going on this one. Uh, I'm just going to pull back here and try to land it back at Heathrow. Actually, no, I'm not sure which airport it was actually, I'll have to check. Because I'm not sure if it reset, I didn't pay much attention when I was previously on it. I haven't paid much attention to the surroundings either, what was that? But if I do this, do it twice, it's really lagged out now, it's just sending the camera everywhere. Okay, show me the menu bar. Keep pulling back. Wait, no, it's world. Oh, come on. And it's frozen, of course. Okay, is it back? I don't know. Is it back? I've got audio, I haven't got any visual. This is exactly what happens with my summer car. Is it loading? Come on! It's all completely frozen. Must Everything is just there now. Why is every uh, Of course, it just can't load. Okay, I think it's back. I've selected 
the south pole because I was thinking maybe I can actually get stuff loading properly because I don't have as much to load because it's literally just a white ground so hopefully it's going to run a bit smoother the game did just crash so maybe this isn't good for recording videos um, I've not really got much else that I can record, that's why I was struggling to actually find something to record last weekend and that's why I was struggling to find something to record yesterday and then, and then finally settled on you know, recording video of Kerbal Space Program but maybe, just maybe I can actually get this working Okay, oh wow, that take ages to actually get to a position to turn up that, but it can. I've just started the timer again because I had to pause it when it crashed. So, this plane's not actually very good. I guess I shouldn't have chosen an ultralight at the South Pole. There was literally nothing to see. Yeah, I'm getting 85 frames a second, but there's nothing to see here ok oh, wait, no, do not end the flight keep the menu bar world um, time and season I'm gonna set it to be the middle of the day and yeah, in summer ok, there we go I'm not sure if the, the audio is recording here. Okay, I'm not sure if the audio was just recording while I loaded stuff then. But as you can see, not a whole lot to be missed out on. And that you missed out on during the night it is literally just nothing. <laughs> Overspeed and I'm going to try to to light. And there we go, I've hit the ground. Okay, I'm just going to try and stall it. Okay, I successfully stalled an ultralight. Okay, well, I'm going to select a different aircraft. Um, I'm going to go for the F-18. Okay, uh, there we go, that's just happened. Here is why you should never load an F-18 in the Antarctic. Uh, go to the airport. Yes, South Pole Station. Um, come on. Yes, there we go. Full afterburners. Um, I do not know what the what that is. gonna go for somewhere else. Um options no no I can't read that. I'm gonna end the flight here. I think it's actually gonna load up something else but no it's it's not worth it at this point. So I've only got half a minute left so I might as well just say the uh, the outro here. So, thank you for watching this episode of Microsoft Flight Sim. I think maybe tomorrow we'll do a year long video and then just edit it down. So I can do a bit more on it. Just probably pull on the brakes here to stop the plane. Uh, but anyway, 
as I was saying before I just started talking about what I'm planning to do for the next episode uh, thank you for watching this episode of Microsoft Flight Sim and bye